to the Superstar Takeover by none other than the brightest star in your galaxy, Mr. DJ Quick. I'm going to be playing some real dope records for you in a minute. And I got to be a nutcase to call them dope before you hear them. See, you know, I'm crazy. I'm the most brilliant man in company. That's what's up, 93.5 K Day. Stick around. Yeah, what's happening? This is your boy, David. How about that? And my new album, The Book of David, DJ Quick in stores today. Go pick it up because it is what it is. If you like real music, then you will love this record. It's good for you. Like watermelon. Check it out. This new record is called Fire and Brimstone. This is the intro to my album. And uh, I think you know where I'm coming from. It's a great way to start a record. It's a great way to kick it off. It is what it is. Right here on Mike with George Truman. Day. The DJ Quick, the owner of the key to the city of Compton, California. And I did that when I was 29. What did you do? You know what it is, 93.5 K Day. This is the second record I want to play for y'all. It's the second song on the album, actually, with my boy John B and my boy KK. It's called Do Today. What you gonna do today? Yeah, you gonna listen to this record right here on 93.5 K Day, Superstar Takeover still. It's, the, it's where all the, where all the bullshit happens. You know what I mean? It's yeah. where all the, the feuds start. It's where all the, you know, the, the, the smoke and mirrors is. And other, every other uh, genre of music is, is, is thriving. Rock and roll is the most consistent music ever. Let's just call it what it is. Hip hop is weird. Nobody's gonna admit this shit. It's just a, it's a weird business. You know, it used to be cool. It used to be competitive. We had all the great music. Then something happened around 1997, 98, 99, and it just it just influx. You know, the same to the same point. doors we kicked in to come in and change it is the same doors we left open for motherfuckers that didn't have our agenda following us in and destroying it. It is what it is. What do you blame the internet for that thing? I'm not just gonna keep blaming the internet. Like, it's too much. It's, too much it's, money. It's, yeah, it's, it's, at some point, we gotta blame ourselves. No, I agree. I, I, yeah. I agree. But you, we, there's avenues to release music on a basis where they became sacred no more. Like I used to look forward to the albums. Exactly. I look. I used to look forward to reading the credits of the albums. Exactly. I get it all now. Like I heard the documentary, hey, seven months ago. Mm. I it was nothing to look forward to. Right. Hey, off time. I, I missed one of the records on there. I didn't look forward to it. I was like, oh, I got it. You know, and and there, was a, there was a single, there was a couple of records that didn't make that record that I thought were. It just didn't. But then again, well, what what does that mean when you just kind of just put it out just? I'm stating the obvious. You still have to show, you, you, you maybe they have to just prove it to themselves that they can still make fun and fuck you guys music. It is what it is. We still love music. Music's important. If not, music wouldn't be played and none of us would do it. We still want music that feels good. I, I mean, so I think my practice is still the same. Don't get it wrong. I mean, I'm still motivated by. But I, I yeah, but, but 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 what about your work ethic? Is it still the same as it was what you twenty years ago? Work ethic. Work ethic. It was, it was still Yo, but I think yeah. what he's trying to say is like that was before Quick was tonight. Quick was hand in hand. Quick was born and raised in Compton. Yeah. Like, Established that's, Quick. That's legend. Oh, and Compton now, Quick. You know what it is. Right, right. Or two different Quicks. Would you agree? No, you know what it is though. The, like we, the motivation, the natural hustlers though, man, was just the more mature company. It's, it's all the same thing. Like, I don't have too many hats. Well, you didn't analyze the, the industry back then, did you? The way you know. Oh, of course I did. I read this business of music in 1988. Oh, I, mean, yeah. I, I believe it. I learned contracts. I learned how to read contracts. All that sneaky. Well, you was one of the first ones to, to yeah, read he was contract. Yeah. If I wasn't mistaken. No, right. right. After you saw after the whole NWA shit, I remember reading it. Quick said, "I'm leaving with Harris, I believe, right? At the time, mm -hmm. so nah, y'all niggas ain't raping me, right? No, I, I was doing too much, like and not seeing it. It wasn't turning into dollars. You know, I got a gold record with you guys. You didn't pay for it because it was a carryover from Profile, right? You know, La Reed came in and started tweaking shit and fucking shit up, and I was like, and you was doing it all. I'll take the eight hundred and fifty thousand dollar loss. Wow, it's gonna change my life because I was dependent on this money. This, this money was always allotted for this lifestyle, right? But I'll take the loss, and and we're talking about eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Twenty years ago. Twenty years. That was cheap. That's a lot of money for my freedom, and it worked. I'm good. Like for real, honestly, I'm I'm in a great place that I could be effective to a lot of new artists. Like this kid, Gift Reynolds. He ain't no punk. This nigga hard as shit on the microphone, hard as shit live, hard as shit on the basketball court. He can do anything. <laughs> Flying the motherfucker. Bitches love him. They jump this nigga two, three, four at a time. And he's still humble. He's still he's still ready to grind. You know, smart, too wise. Twenty four years wide, no motherfucker. He on the album? God damn right. Yes sir. yes, sir. Can we go back to the shit? Okay. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. 
It's the DJ Quick Superstar Takeover on 93.5 KDAY. I'm back to play another record for you off my album, The Book of David, in stores today. It's called Babylon, featuring Busy Bone and my homeboy, Black Ass KK. You know what it is, man. It's real. Mean. Yeah. Because it's the Yo. Superstar Takeover, DJ Quick. Count the California's finest. I ain't talking about producer. I look good. 93.5 KDAY. What up, ladies? My album is for women, too. It's called The Book of David. Get to know me. My album is candid, introspective, and fly. Real smart music. You know how I do it. I mean, how can I do anything less after hanging out with Prince at his house? Come on, man. Janet Jackson, L.A. Reid, and all these guys. Jimmy Jam, Baby Faith, Tracy Edmonds. I hang out with real players. So why wouldn't I be one? Goddamn right. Can we play this one record right here? This is called Nobody, featuring my boy Sugar Free. Just to show you that this dude has got a pocket that's uncanny. You know we heard it at first. Superstar Takeover. David Blake. 93.5. Yeah, take a request. You, uh, you want to call up here and request anything? You let me know. I'm right here by the phone. You know, the phone's in your mouth. You want to say what? <laughs> 93.5 KDA Superstar Takeover. It's another record I want y'all to hear, y'all. This is called The Love of My Life. You know, not really an original title because Erica Badu did it. But why not? What rappers rap about love? So this is my love song. Me and my boy Giff Reynolds introducing the Detroit's finest basketball player. Giff Reynolds doing the damn thing with your boy DJQ. 93.5 KDA. Let's. Yeah. 